Welcome to part three of the lesson on graphing functions by plotting points. In example three, we're asked to graph the function p of r equals five. This is called a constant function because notice how the function rule is that for any input r, the output is always the constant five. To graph this function by plotting points, we'll complete the table provided here, where the input variable is r, and the output is p of r. So we want to begin by selecting the inputs, find the corresponding outputs, write the ordered pairs, and plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Remember, the inputs are along the horizontal axis, so if we want to find points on our function to the left where the inputs are negative, and to the right where the inputs are positive, we should select both positive and negative values for the inputs. Let's go ahead and select the input values of negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three. And now to find the corresponding outputs, we normally perform substitution for the input variable in the given function, but notice how here, for any input r, again, the output is always going to be the constant five. And therefore, for all these inputs, the corresponding output will always be the constant five. So the ordered pairs are going to be negative two comma five, negative one comma five, zero comma five, one comma five, two comma five, and finally three comma five. Now looking at the Cartesian plane, notice how currently the axes are not scaled, but because of the grid system, it's common to assume right now it's scaled by ones, but to be clear, let's go ahead and include tick marks and scale both axes by ones. And because the input variable is r and the output is p of r, let's label the horizontal axis r and the vertical axis p of r. And now we'll plot the points given by the ordered pairs. So the first ordered pair is negative two comma five. Because the input is negative two and the output is positive five, we first need to locate the input value of negative two on the horizontal axis, which is here. And then from here, because the output is positive five, we go up five units to where the output is positive five. So at this location, or this point, the input is negative two and the output is five. The next order pair is negative one comma five, so the input is negative one and the output is five. Again, at this location, or at this point, the input is negative one and the output is five. The next order pair is zero comma five, so zero on the horizontal axis would be here, and because the output is five, again we go up five units to this point here. At this point, the input is zero and the output is five. The next order pair is one comma five, input one, output five. Next order pair, two comma five, input two, output five. Last order pair is three comma five, input is three, output is five. So notice how the graph of the function p bar equals five is a horizontal line passing through these five points. And any constant function is going to be a horizontal line and that should make sense because notice anywhere along this horizontal line, the output is always going to be, in this case, the constant five. Notice how we have a vertical intercept with coordinates at zero comma five, which is given here in our table. There's probably no need to check this on the graphing calculator, but since we did on the other examples, let's just go ahead and check this. So we'll press y equals, and we'll clear out any old functions by pressing clear, and one of the new function as y one equals five. And now we'll check the table of values. Again, if we need to, we can check the table set first. We want to verify that if we press second window, the table start is on an integer value, the change in table is by ones, and the independent variable is set to automatic. Now if we press second graph, we can scroll up and down the table to verify the inputs and outputs from our table match. And notice how they all do. For any input, the output is positive five. And now if we press graph, or to verify that we have the standard window, we can press zoom six. We can see that we do have a horizontal line passing through the vertical intercept at positive five, and therefore our graph is also correct. I hope you found this helpful.